हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी सम मोर एग्जांपल्स इन आवर सेम टॉपिक दैट इज एंगल एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट ओके इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द रिलेशन बिटवीन डिग्री मेजर एंड द रेडियन मेजर एंड द बेसिस ऑफ सेम कंसेप्ट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यू एग्जांपल लेट्स सी नाउ हियर इन ट्रायंगल एबीसी मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए इज सेवन पाए बस थर्टी सिक्स रेडियन एंड एंगल बी इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द थर्ड एंगल एंगल सी इन बोथ द सिस्टम्स डिग्री एंड द रेडियन नॉट नीड टू ड्रॉ हियर डायग्राम हियर लेट अस सी नाउ इन ट्रायंगल एबीसी वी नो इन स्कूल लेवल वी हैव Uh, one property we have discussed one property property of a triangle what is the main basic property of triangle any type of triangle if it is given the sum of first angle second angle and third angle gives us 180 degree so in triangle abc we know that angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to what 180 degree okay now substitute it fell here here our first angle here major of angle a is in a radian is in radian but angle b is in degree first convert the first angle into what in uh, radian given convert it into the degree form let us convert now here uh, let angle a equal to how much given 7 pi by 36 in radian okay 36 in radian now convert this angle in radian uh, degrees 7 pi by 36 multiply by how will convert multiply this by 180 upon 5 radian uh, this is in degree okay and by simplifying this we will get this pi will cancel with this okay so what will remain here here uh, there will be by simplifying we will get 35 degree hence this is equal to 35 degree thus angle a equal to how much 35 degree now using this uh, degree in our basic rule that is angle a plus b plus c equal to what when it is put here uh, 35 degree plus what is angle b b is already here 120 degree plus angle c equal to 180 degree correct now see what is addition of this uh, 5 here 3 plus again here 5 155 degree plus angle c equal to what 180 degree hence angle c equal to 180 degree minus 155 degree so angle c equal to how much subtract this number from 180 we will get here 25 degree so find the angle in degrees thus angle remaining angle c in degree is 25 degree okay now let us convert in radian therefore in a radian form Let us convert in radian. What is radian? Angle C equal to what? Twenty-five degree. So twenty-five multiply by what? One degree. So twenty-five multiply by here pi upon one eighty. This is in radian. And by simplifying this, we will get here five five by thirty-six. radian thus uh, we get the angle c that is remaining angle having the major that is therefore uh, remaining angle c equal to what 25 degree or we can say in a radian form as 5 by 36 radian okay this is our first example very simple to understand 
some basic part this example based on our basic property that property is sum of three angles in is 180 let us see now one more example okay uh, let us take example number next two angles of a triangle two angles of a triangle here triangle given two angles of a triangle are the two angles are given phi o phi by 9 radian and here phi o phi by 18 radian okay find find the degree and radian measure find find the degree and radian radian measure of third angle okay now see here this example is again for triangle same concept first angle plus second angle plus third angle gives us 180 okay but here name of the triangle is not given consider let uh, name of the triangle be pqr or xyz or we can take as a triangle abc okay start with this let uh, let abc be the triangle abc be the triangle having the two measures here first angle and the second angle uh, this having angle a equal to how much phi u pi by 900 m and here angle b equal to phi u pi by 18 radian okay these two angles are given in a radian form and we have to find the third angle in degrees degree or uh, and a radian of the third angle now we can use a, a, a we can use our same concept angle a plus b plus c equal to what uh, 180 degree or we can say also in a radian form a plus b plus c equal to instead of 180 we can use a pi radian because 180 degree equal to pi radian so let us convert this angle first angle in degrees so angle a equal to phi o pi by 9 phi o pi by 9 multiply by 180 upon pi 180 upon pi this is in degree hence angle a equal to angle a equal to what 100 degree this pi will cancel with this 9 1 9 9 2 18 20 multiply by 5 it is 100 degree similar way here angle b equal to phi o pi by 18 multiply by 180 by pi this is in bracket total in converted in a degree same way this pi will cancel with this 10 ones are 10 10 the here uh, angle b equal to 50 degree thus we get angle first is 100 degree angle second that angle b is how much 50 degree now let us use our basic property we have because we have to find our third angle so but what is our concept but our concept is angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to 180 degree put here angle a 100 degree is given here here angle a is 100 degree box it here also give number one give number two substitute these two value here angle b here 50 degree plus angle c equal to 
180 degree this is we can say as a from first and what second from first and second because two values are substituted in this relation so here by adding this we will get 150 degree plus angle c equal dot 180 degree okay so angle c equal to 180 degree minus 150 degree so angle c equal to how much here only here we get 30 degree okay thus we get the third angle the third angle having major 30 but here question is to find in degrees and radian this angle is in is in here uh, degree let us convert the third angle in a radian so how will you convert this here i am writing here uh, third angle what is now in radian in radian conversion angle c equal to 30 degree so 30 multiply by pi upon 180 this is in radian so pi by 6 radian this is angle angle what c so thus uh, the third remaining angle third gives the answer that is having major 30 degree or we can say as a pi by 6 radian okay this is our second example means what here once we get how to convert degree into radian we can use same concept same knowledge to find uh, to solve further examples let us take one more example which is a uh, based on same one third in a right angle triangle here i am writing in a right angle triangle you know what in by right angle triangle right angle triangle means a triangle whose uh, any one of angle suppose triangle abc is given angle a equal to 90 degree or b equal to 90 any one of them or c equal to 90 degree in a right angle triangle what is uh, condition is given the acute angles acute angles at angles are in the ratio acute angles are in the ratio 4 is to 5 are in the ratio 4 is to 5 find because this two angle ratio of the two acute angles are given uh, we have to find find the angles find the angles of the triangle in both the system or we can say as a in degrees degree and radian okay again this example based on same property that is triangle look here this is a triangle but triangle there are uh, different types of triangle depending on the angles and depending on the sides if each angle is less than 90 so we can use acute angle triangle if one of them is a 90 degree then we can say as a right angle triangle or if one angle of a triangle is greater than 90 then we can say obtuse angle triangle here triangle is type of triangle is right angle triangle okay and right angle triangle we know for right angle triangle any one of the angle is a what 90 degree let's see here suppose this is a triangle so i'm drawing triangle like this and angle one angle is angle this angle is 90 degree and angle a and angle c actually not given but ratio is given here 4 is to 5 so this angle is multiple of 4 this angle is multiple of 5 i am writing here x here also x x means what common multiple start here late let abc be the right angle triangle right right angle 
triangle be the right angle triangle at angle B yes, uh, or we can say as a such that such that angle B is equal to in this figure angle B is equal to what angle B equal to 90 degree and once this angle is 90 degree means what other two angles angle A and angle C are obviously acute angles so angle acute angles means uh, angle having major less than 90 and angle A is to angle B look here angle A and angle C so instead of using B and C is equal to what is the ratio 4 is to what 5 4 is to 5 this is a ratio given let common multiple be x let common multiple b x x is a common multiple therefore we can say as a angle a equal to angle a equal to yours 4 x and angle c equal to what 5 x thus we get three angles here angle b exact 90 degree angle a 4x therefore here written 4x angle c 5x hence it is written 5x now use our property but angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal dot sum of three angles is what 180 degree so put here angle a where is our ang angle a angle a is 4x so substitute here 4x plus 90 degree because this is angle B plus angle C here 5x equal dot 180 degree so we can now simply by simply by this so 5 and this 9x equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree shape this 90 degree to uh, other side so what will remain 9x equal to here 90 and x equal to our 10 what is x x means not the measure of angle but x is the common multiple the word is here the common multiple be x thus we get a common multiple be here common what is common multiple it is a 10 so let us find our angle which angle is here angle 4 angle a so now angle a equal to 4 x so 4 multiply by here 10 answer is 40 degree answer is 40 degree and angle c is equal to 5 x so 5 multiply by 10 answer is 50 degree thus we get the two angles measure of two angles are like this 40 and here 50 degree but here is given find in radian also so we can convert it okay so look this here uh, once again i am repeating uh, right angle triangle yes it is a right angle triangle name given abc pqr like that here triangle is given abc uh, whose angle b is a 90 degree and other two all obviously acute acute means whose major is less than 90 so ratio is given other two angles 4 is to 5 so 4x x is the common multiple 5x is also uh, measure of angle c 4x is the measure of angle c use same concept a plus b plus c equal to this substitute these values here so by simplifying using algebraic low rule we get x equal to 10 substitute a 4a a equal to what 4x 4 multiply by 10, 40 degree and angle c equal to 5x so, means what 5 multiply by 10, 50 degree it remains to find in uh, radian now in radian form let us convert in radian what is angle a angle a equal to how much here 40 okay 40 this is in degree now convert this 40 degree in radian form means what 40 multiply by pi upon 180 radian so by cancel this 0 0 so 2 to the 2 2 to the 4 to 9 the 2 pi by 9 radian this is angle a 
एंगल बी वॉट इज आवर एंगल बी एंगल बी इज ऑलरेडी नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल बी इज हियर ऑलरेडी गिवन हियर नाइंटी डिग्री सो वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस एंगल एंगल बी एंगल बी इज हियर सो नाइंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाय पाय अपन वन एटी रेडियन सो दिस इज पाय बाय टू रेडियन एंड लास्ट एंगल सी हियर इट इज फिफ्टी डिग्री सो फिफ्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाय पाय अपन वन एटी रेडियन जीरो जीरो कैंसल सो फायु पाय बाय एटीन रेडियंस सो दिस इज अवर सोल्यूशन ओके सो दस वी हैव फाइंड दस वी गेट द ऑल द थ्री एंगल्स इन रेडियन एज वेल एज इन डिग्री फॉर्म सो वॉट विल बी अवर लास्ट आंसर द हैंस अवर लास्ट आंसर विल बी हैंस द एंगल्स ऑफ द एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल आर फर्स्ट एंगल इज हियर फोर्टी डिग्री देन नाइंटी डिग्री एंड हियर फिफ्टी डिग्री और इन रेडियन फॉर्म वी कैन से एज अ टू पाई बाय नाइन रेडियन हियर पाए बाय टू रेडियन और हियर फाइव पाई बाय एटीन रेडियन ओके सो दिस इज द अवर आंसर ओके लेटस डिस्कस वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ओके लेट अस डिस्कस वन मोर एग्जाम्पल डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सेम वन द सम ऑफ लेट अस टेक अदर दैन ट्राइंगल सपोज लेट अस टेक टू टू एंगल्स द सम ऑफ द सम ऑफ टू एंगल्स sum of two angles sum of two angles is phi pi by simply phi pi radian and difference difference between these two angles between difference there there difference difference between them is here 60 degree so find the two angles or we can say and find their measures find their measures in degree and degree and what radian look here this is Uh, really different example because not based on a triangle here given two angles two angles but two angles are of which type of triangle no triangle is not given quadrilateral not given pentagon is not, not any polynomial given or any type given so here given any two in general any two angles so uh, let me suppose that two angles may be a or b or we can say x and Y also we can say as a okay. So let uh, let angle first be angle A. Angle A equal to what x and angle B equal to what y. Let x and y be the two angles. Angle A equal to x x degree and y equal to what uh, b equal to what y degree. Here in degree, okay. So here sum of the two angles is means what? According to first condition, according to first condition, what is condition? What is first condition? Angle A plus angle B equal to how much? Given phi o pi radian. Look here, phi o pi radian. This difference is uh, here. Addition is given. radian but this radian a should be convert into degree okay so here what is a x plus y equal to phi o pi so this is our equation first but 
convert this radian into degrees. So, we can say as a angle x plus y equal to phi o pi multiply by what? 180 upon pi. This is in now in degree. Okay, pi pi would cancel. So, x plus y equal to 900. Now, see. Our angle, angle first A is in degree, Y is also in degree, sum is also total in is in degrees. Okay. So instead of this, I will give us here number first. So this is our equation. And difference between them, difference between them, difference between means according to second condition. According to second condition according to second condition what is angle a minus of angle b is given 60 degree so means x minus y equal to 60 degree call this equation as a 2 now uh, look equation first equation first x plus y equal to 900 now let us from first and second from first and second what is our first equation x plus y equal to 900 okay this is our first example next x minus y what is answer 60 so this is equation number one equation number two and this type of example you can solve in school level uh, ninth standard or 10th standard you have studied how to solve linear equations in two variables okay linear equations in two variable write the equation in the standard form x term y term and the number x term y term and the number give number one give number two and try to find x or try to find y that is using substitution method or by using elimination method you can solve same example by using Kramer's rule what in by Kramer's rule? We know uh, for Kramer's rule, the two equations should be in standard form x term y term number, x term y term again number. Find D capital D, after that find D of x, after that D of y. x equal to dx by d, y equal to dy by d. Any type of uh, method you can use here. But this is very simple example, simple equations. You can by observe this. This is first and this is second plus y and minus y if we add these two equation y will get cancelled to each, each other so here i am writing adding equation one and here two by adding y will cancel here so what will get 2x equal to 9 60 degree easy one this cancel with this we will get uh, only x x coefficient of x is here one here also 1, 1 plus 1, x plus x, what, what 2x, so 2x equal to 960, so x equal to 960 divided by here 2, because 2 and here x having multiplication sign, now dividing both the sides by 2 will get this answer, or by using another method, uh, shift this to, to other side it will divide it, and by simplifying this, we will get the answer here. 480, 480 degree, 480 degree. This is our value of x. X means our, this is our first angle. Okay. Now, uh, let us find uh, second angle. Substitute this value in equation first or in equation second. Okay. I am writing here. Uh, put here put x equal to what 480 degree in equation what first in equation first uh, in equation now what is the first equation x plus y equal to what 900 so 480 degree plus y equal to what 900 Hence, y equal to 900 minus 480 degree. So, what will you get? Answer is 420 degree. Okay. Thus, two angles here our question is find their 
measure in degrees and the radian thus angle a equal to here x equal to 480 degree and angle b equal to here y means here for 20 degree this is our final answer but it remains to convert the angles in a radian form let us convert our angle this these angles in uh, radian so by converting into radian we will get our final answer angle a equal to what here 480 degree so convert this 480 multiply by pi upon 180 degree okay uh, simplify this again what will you get 0 0 cancel so what will you get 4 uh, 48 pi upon 18 this is in radian okay we can also again by simplifying and dividing by uh, numerator and denominator by 2 so 2 to the 4 2 for the 8 pi 2 9 is 24 by 24 pi by 9 radian and uh, angle y, angle b equal to what what is angle b 420 for 20 degree so 420 multiply by pi upon 180 this is in radian so again simply by this so we will we get 42 pi by 18 radian again we can again simplify because 42 here 42 and 18 are multiple up to so here we can say 21 pi by 9 radian okay this is uh, uh, these are the uh, measures of angle a as well as angle b okay the measures of the angles of triangle triangle are the measures of the angles of a triangle are in arithmetic progression arithmetic progression and and greatest angle is greatest is greatest is means greatest angle is greatest angle is 5 times 5 times the smallest smallest or we can say the least okay find the angle in find the angle find the angle in degree degree and radian this is a very important one now how to solve this example remember here same example depend on our triangle but additional condition is given ap what is meant by ap ap means arithmetic progression 10 standard topic okay you have discussed what is by in uh, arithmetic progression uh, in a, a sequence series uh, there are some uh, if the numbers are arranged some given pattern so some type of arrangement we can say as a numbers are arranged according to that is uh, arithmetic progression okay if the numbers are arranged some different way there is there may be one property that is geometric presentation so geometric property and some examples having the harmonic property okay these are three uh, concept but here uh, angles of a triangle are in arithmetic progression and what what in by arithmetic progression you have already uh, know about this okay let let us start with let let abc be the triangle abc be the triangle having their measures a b and c their angles angle a angle b angle c are in 
arithmetic progression what in by a me ap means arithmetic progression so what will be angle a means angle a minus d a means first term d means common difference you have you already know this angle b what is angle b is here only angle a angle c equal to what here a plus d okay this is more important because this angle a a minus d angle b a and angle c a minus these presentations are already in arithmetic progression but use our same result but what is our result angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to what 180 degree substitute value here what is a a minus d plus b here plus c a plus d here 180 degree so minus d will cancel with this plus d so a plus a plus a what will get 3a equal to 180 degree hence a equal to 60 degree okay so answer of this a look here angle a here here it is a so we get a equal to 60 degree means angle b equal to 60 degree now here given uh, the smallest what is condition here here greatest angle is now it is given that it is given that greatest angle which is greatest now see angle a b c are in ap means smallest angle is a greatest angle is see here it is given that greatest angle that is c angle is 5 times the smallest angle means least angle so we can say as a a substitute value is here what is angle c a plus d so a plus d is equal to 5 times a minus d okay but substitute but what is a a means our 60 degree this 60 degree substitute here 60 degree plus d is equal to 5 here 60 minus of d since a equal to 60 degree here a equal to 60 degree means what 60 plus d equal to 300 minus 5 d okay now shift this here d plus 5 d equal to 300 minus of 60 here 6 d equal to 240 means d equal to what 240 divided by 6 240 divided by simple calculation so we can say as a 40 degree this is the value of d here we get a equal to 60 and here d we get this value of d is here 60 uh, okay, 40 degree okay thus we have find the meaning that is thus we get here thus we get a equal to what 60 and d equal to what here 40 and in school level some type of example you have discussed here if the value of a given d given you can find any term okay our angle first is in the form of a minus d substitute that values here and thus we can write here we will get a a means our here 60 minus d 40 answer what 20 degree here a means here 60 and here 60 plus 40 equal to 100 degree and thus we get the values of angle a angle a measure of angle is 20 degree angle b 60 degree angle c 100 degree okay now we have to convert this in radian form by using proper formulae in radian form what is angle a 20 degree means 20 multiplied by pi upon 180 radian so 0 0 cancel pi by 9 radian this is angle a what is angle b 
what is angle b b is already a you are not need to convert b is 60 degree so 60 multiply by pi upon 180 radian so this is pi by 3 radian and angle c is here a plus d a plus d means 60 plus what is d what is d d means our 40 so it becomes 100 so directly we can say as a, a plus d is 100 here so i am writing here 100 convert this 100 multiply by pi upon 180 radian 0 0 cancel 2 5 are 10 into 9 the. thus these are conversion that is so our what will your final answer final answer we can uh, write like this hence hence the angles or angles of triangle triangle abc are that is 20 60 and 100 or we can say in conversion factor as these are in degrees or 5 by 9 radian pi by 6 radian and here phi u phi by 9 radian these angles are in radian and uh, what in by radian you have discussed is 10 the difference between two angles remains same look here this is term number first i am giving some basic knowledge for arithmetic progression look here 20 60 and here 90 look these numbers are in arithmetic progression here degrees are t1 20 degree t2 here 60 degree t3 here 90 degree what is t1 term number one term number two term number three what is difference find t2 minus here t3 minus t2 t3 minus t2 what will get 90 minus 60 difference is 30 here t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 so 60 minus 20 20 60 minus 20 so 20 degree these numbers are in arithmetic what is difference difference between this should be 40 here 90 minus no t3 is here 100 i sorry here instead of this take as a 100 so here 100 t3 minus is 100 minus this 40 okay here also 40 look here difference between this 40 here also 40 this minus this not t2 t3 minus t2 t2 minus this difference between two consecutive terms if remains constant then it is called it is the numbers are arranged according to arithmetic progression really these angles are in arithmetic progression okay in our next video we will discuss some more examples uh, related to uh, some polygonal concept and the the time the watch time that is quarter angle between our hand and minute hand that is a quarter past six, quarter past eleven. What will the angle between minute hand and our hand? This type of example we will discuss in our next video. Okay. Thank you very much.